Thank you for joining us on this Sunday evening. I'm Daniel Che with this hour's latest. Now, it's been 40 days since the Sewero ferry sank, but bad weather conditions over the weekend have hampered efforts to find the remaining 16 people unaccounted for from the ship. In the meantime, police are intensifying their search for the de facto owner of the ferry, who seems to have accomplices helping him hide. Our Connie Lee starts us off. Off of Korea's southwestern island of Chindo, Efforts to find the bodies of those still missing from the sunken Seoro ferry have been halted for now and could be stalled until Monday. Bad weather conditions, including fast tidal currents and foggy conditions, have prevented divers from searching for the last 16 bodies still underwater. No bodies have been recovered since Wednesday, and the death toll stands at 288. Divers have been focusing their search efforts on the third and fourth decks of the ship, but are struggling because parts of the ship are now falling apart. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the investigation to the ferry disaster, prosecutors say they have arrested one person who was suspected of helping Yu byung un or the ferry's de facto owner, flee from the authorities. Prosecutors say the person is a devotee of the religious cult led by Yu. The arrest comes after investigators confiscated footage from surveillance cameras on the religious compound of the cult's headquarters. Yu and his eldest son, Yu Daegyun, have been on the run since failing to show up for questioning by prosecutors. Authorities say, however, that they have been receiving tips on their whereabouts since they were put on the nation's most wanted list over the last two weeks. Officials have offered cash rewards of up to 50,000 U.S. dollars for anyone with any information on the use. Connie Lee, Adirang News.